This is about a 1920s Wade lathe. There's the plaque. There's the most important plaque right there. Wait a few seconds. That's homemade. No one else has that. So if you have a Wade lathe and would like to change gears and you have these gears sitting around a garage somewhere. These are what you change in order to make different thread dimensions. So just on this those bolts. Put in the proper gears according to the chart and move on. Wow, this is in good shape. It's from the 1920s aluminum aluminum uh, stock, not steel. It's very light, but it, it works for the job it's doing. Only steel is the gears and the chuck and the spindles. probably wonder if it works. Well, put in a piece of maple for a test run, and yes it does. It has a wild setup. This is uh, homemade. The way it lay didn't come with its own motor, like people do get today. And this uh, step up pulley made out of oak still works. There's no bearings in this spindle, but it works. A little oil now and then helps. And this is a fun little gadget. Now it could be used for uh, actual work, uh, say like a person that needs to make its own parts but for metal, this is a metal lathe, not a wood lathe, but it can cut the wood. Uh, it's got slower speeds, so it's oriented towards metal. And now we can try and make it work. It works a lot better when you grease it a little bit. Carry it back. Piece of maple was a little off center, bowed in the center, so it cuts uh, unevenly due to um, the fact that it was bowed. So we're going to take a cut on this, bring in the carriage in, need it with some wood. Get that automatic reverse. There it goes. We and bring it 
back. Smooth out the uh, the wood bit with the file or the sandpaper. It's pretty limited, not as fast as the wood lathe, but this is an example of how this works. So if I was picky on the, how big the size would be, how much thickness that would be, I would measure it and then take off the appropriate stock to where what I needed. So it works. Should have come with a bit. It's a four jaw chuck. Now those can be off center a bit, so. That uh, should be um, something you work with, and that's this tool over here. You bring it over and see how much you're off, and adjust the chuck um, jaws according to what uh, you need to center that. So if it needs to be moved this way, you would move that chuck first, and then push this one down, and then it would be centered. Uh, train machinists would know how to do that and that's the start of every job that they put in a chuck. Uh, a um, pulley system for getting extra speed or extra torque depending on your need and a really really old electric motor. Probably from the 40s, but uh, could be older. I didn't look at it that close. And so you change these gears for different uh, th thread sizes. So um, eight threads per inch or 20 threads per inch, you change those. So this plate, my dad made. This is the only one of its kind. And it tells you how to make those gears make whatever thread pitch you want. So that's all in there. I'm keeping that on there because anyone that has one of these lathes, they can find the extra parts, they can do extra things. Okay. And lastly, these uh, come off, and it's these uh, different pitches will uh, change according to these settings what you want. So there you have it. 1920s lathe a nice learning tool I got uh, my dad and uncle their jobs they learned on this got their jobs and they uh, spent the rest of their life in the machine shop yeah that um, just for the fun of it, I'll show you this. This is all the extra parts. Gears, all kind of gears for the different threads. Tools, face, plate, face, face plates, extra tools, cutting tools, all the gadgets you need. 
So, if you've got one of these, well, you got to start for having things uh, to work for that. That was a fun demonstration, and I hope you enjoyed a 1920s Wade lathe. You're not likely to see another one. Certainly not in this condition. Mr. B even is curious about that. No, it's not a hole you can go in. Bye, B. Come on. Okay. He's gone. Let's start it up again just for the fun of it. Okay, Wade Lathe. He's kind of neat. 